Chris and Aaron here, Talking Beards. Um, obviously, we're not live with this, but it, it will be uh, coming on our show on Tuesday. So, yeah, I guess we just had a couple of questions about uh, the the Nationals that, that are coming up. So, Nationals in Chicago 2019, Beard Team USA. Can you give us a little bit of a backstory about how this came back around and where, where are we at for this uh, Nationals well, went uh, Nationals kind of went away for a year, and then uh, myself and the Austin Facial Hair Club uh, got uh, Beer Team USA and the National Beard and Mustache Championships and the uh, World's Trademark as well. And so we've been uh, getting it all together, and now the new Nationals organized by the new Beer Team USA, like you said, November 9th in uh, Chicago Southland should be pretty awesome. Uh, check out the Facebook event page for most of the details, but... Uh, what, what kind of uh, questions do you have? You heard about it. What is it like for our competitors hearing about it? That it's it's, uh, it's pretty exciting, uh, really. I mean, uh, it was kind of it's kind of weird, you know, the the great American and the Nationals. Uh, what was it? Twenty sixteen. Mm-hmm. Was it that? That was yeah, the last year. It was sixteen. Yeah. So it, it's it's good that it seems like it's not going to be back to back weekends, and maybe there can be. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. So we're yeah we're working with the, yeah exactly uh, the alliance already. Yeah. And making sure that those two things aren't going to overlap, and we we've asked uh, one of the board members of the alliance to be one of the judges at this event, and it's we want it to be like a. I went to a bunch of the nationals, the first nationals that were around, uh, what Bend and then uh, Lancaster, Lancaster and um, Vegas after that, and it was just like it was more of an entry point for a lot of people that don't have beard clubs or didn't really know what was going on. They just be. You see random people, you're like, holy shit, that guy's got a four-foot beard. Where'd he come from? You know, just come from the mountain somewhere or whatever. And so we kind of want to get that uh, introductory energy, I guess, back. And we want to, yeah. but it, we want to also serve as a conduit for the whole other beard culture. And, you know, if you like, if you think this event's cool, find the club that's near you. There's events going around every day all over the all over the country almost is there, every it, weekend. Is there a club that's going to kind of host nationals each time or is it just going to be beer team USA kind of deal and picks a place and does it there? Is that how it's going to be? It's or? more like that. Okay, um, cool. We will work with local clubs. Right. We've already reached out to the three different clubs that are kind of in that area. Okay. So there are clubs in the Chicago area kind of helping like we're we're, we're in talks with them. Uh, okay. They're offered space and help, and we've offered some judging spots to local dudes awesome. too. But also, they're not as active as like uh, your club or uh, Austin Facial Hair Club. Or they're doesn't seem like they're they do their have thing, a big force. Right. So maybe it's like two or three people. And, well, that's cool. You're involved in smaller clubs, and yeah, I'm trying to involve the uh, um, bearded villains that are up there. Now the villain, yeah, they're they're uh, doing nomad, a lot of good work. Nomad really? chapter. They do a yeah. lot of good work. They do yeah. absolutely. Who's going to be? Is there a primary sponsor? Like a, like a product sponsor or Remington's the title sponsor for the 2019 National Remington Bowls. Beard Boss. Nice. Hey, look that's that. good news. You know those guys, right? Ba- yeah, you know, okay. uh, we we had a lot of fun doing uh, Worlds. Right. You know, we had a big production. We had a lot of fun doing that, and we really want to do that more. So. A lot of the same team that went into making worlds is doing these nationals. Very cool. So this is going to be the idea behind the new national event will be to put it on a grand scale like the Austin Worlds. Type, kind of, type, type, type. We're not trying to over. I mean, the way I, I see it, I see the two, the Great American event, pretty separate from this event. I know that there's been people calling the other event nationals and. The event's always been at the great. It's been the Great American Beard and Mustache Championship, right? Which is something we all agreed on in 2015 or something before, while the other nationals were still happening, right? And the the confusion behind those, and there won't be any confusion anymore. It yeah. Seems like both groups are going to work, like you said, with each other, and yeah, totally. Yeah, can't wait to. It's support, very exciting. Uh, yeah, great American and nationals, and just kind of go at it and make it all. Make it all awesome. Very so, cool. so one could hold an American title and a national title. How nice would that be? Wow! And a world title. Plus, there'd be uh, some different categories. I think that too. person's name is Scott Metz, but <laughs> <laughs> never heard of him. Right. Scott Metz. Does he, he, does he already have each of those titles? Does he yeah. have a world's title? Yeah, he does. Hey, he does. Yeah, yeah. he's got yeah. all three. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, now he can't compete anymore. That's the rules. Right? He's out. Yeah, he's, he's you're out now, Scott. All right, well, you heard it first here on Talking Beards. <laughs> there we go.